Hello and welcome back to another Bolo vs video, but this time I'm going to again do something a little bit different. This time I'm going to make a short video, a scenario I couldn't quite flesh out into a full 20 minute video, but I still wanted to do it anyway. So as a monument to my need for clicks and my ego, I am going to pit Mark 2s and 3s against the full might of the Shiorasai Empire, also known as the Greys, from the novel series The Last World War by Dayton Ward. This should be about as fun as a clown car on fire, so buckle in folks, this is going to be great. Let's go. But before I get on with this shit show, we've had some serious growth in this channel in the last year. We've almost doubled in size and I want to thank each and every one of you for it. But I want to do better. I'm nothing if not ambitious. So if you want to do your part, then I need you to like, share, subscribe this out. It really does help me. And remember, the more interaction I get, the bigger I get, the more you get. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So I said this week on the firing line, we're going to be pitting up the Shiodrasai, or as we're going to call them, the Greys, because I will not be saying Shiodrasai 50 times during this video. So a quick background or the TLDR as the kids say today. The story takes place in contemporary Earth. An alien species is fighting a world war with two opposing sides, the Blues and the Greys. The Greys because they're not tattooed and they have gray skin, and the blues because they have their bodies covered in blue tattoos. Now, the blues are freedom-loving mega chads, and the grays are filthy communist scum, only worthy of taking a bullet. In the course of their war, the blues build some wormhole generators, which they think can bypass the enemy formations and attack the enemy from behind. Ha! <laughs> gay! They obviously fuck up on a monumental scale and wind up sending their first troops to Earth. The Blues, they make friends with the freedom-loving Mega Chads to the south of me. The Greys, however, try to kill everyone they come across and generally piss off everyone on the planet. I won't spoil the book, I recommend you read it. And its sequel, Counter-Strike, which is pretty also awesome. Okay, so technologically, the Greys are approximately two or three generations more advanced than our current forces. Physiologically, listen to this. They stand on average seven to eight feet tall. They clock in at around 350 kilograms. They come from a world with 25% more gravity approximately than Earth. They can run up to 40 kph for extended distances, jump distances of 15 feet and eight feet high on Earth, and throw their own body mass and, a, well, a considerable goddamn distance, as well as being incredibly durable. In the book, it has them taking a mag of 556 to the face and still coming. They're like brutes from Halo, essentially, but, you know, smarter and less furry. Their weapons are energy disruptors that are fatal to humans, even on the lowest settings. Like, it explodes human bodies like the prawn weapons from District 9. Their vehicles are both wheeled and repulsor tech, and they can... Uh, uh, I'm not going to... Uh, their AA can really pick off cruise missiles, bombs, and planes from the sky with literally eerie efficiency. In one engagement in the book, they send 40 Euro fighter typhoons against one small outpost of the Greys, and the humans don't even get a shot off before all the typhoons are swatted out of the sky, like in less than 10 seconds. However, their technology is susceptible to EM jamming quite easily and on the average is no more durable than human military vehicles and technology. But for lack of actual numbers, I'm gonna say, we're gonna place them around the same as the dirty Soviets for the sake of the scenario, just in terms of numbers, just to make it easy. We all know and love Bolos, it's why you're subbed to me, right? No. The Mark II and III Bolo I've described in several times on this channel. I'm gonna link a video here so I don't have to go through another long-winded explanation and bore the crap out of those who already know what I'm talking about. You're welcome. All right, so ground rules for this scenario. One round only, no super weapons. In the book, nukes react unpredictably with their energy technology and greys oddly refuse to use the mass casualty weapons in their arsenal out of fear of retaliation of nuclear weapons on their own planet. Other than that, everything else goes. So this scenario is gonna go down as follows. Over the course of a few months, Greys and Blues have been transiting to Earth and setting up outposts in remote locations all over the planet. After a bloody first contact with the Greys, where they pay some reservists all over a forest, literally, the US government decides to do what it does best. Shock and awe, baby. Yeah. 
and it runs into a bit of a problem. Gray's AA is just too good. Seeing as they can't just fire missiles at the problem endlessly, America mobilizes their bolos. Not entirely understanding what the heck they face, they go full freedom and throw everything they've got at the known beachheads. Mark III's provide indirect fire support, suppressing infantry in place with air burst and fuel air explosive shells. Well, the Mark II's flank and provide direct fire support, destroying fixed emplacement and vehicles with rapid ease. Alright, so grey weapons do have a moderate effect under a chrome armor, ablating it quickly under concentrated fire, but they adapt too slowly to the situation and get pushed in quickly. Shocked at how fast their beachheads were destroyed, yet fearful of massive retaliation on their own soil, the greys opt to make a single big push to try and overcome this new supposed inferior species in one go. They open a new wormhole in the remote Nevada desert, however, already on the lookout for such energy signatures, the portals are spotted within a few hours of opening. Seeing the massive aid invasion force pouring through the multiple wormholes and knowing it exactly for what it is, they keep the invaders pop. Yeah, they keep the invaders occupied with missile strikes while armored response is incoming six hours out. The Greys learn in the meaning of fire and fury. As dozens of bolos surround their beachhead, bolos bellow out of their loudspeakers. They are in the Greys' own language, they are not going to give quarter. They will not accept surrender. They're all going to die there that day. And they do. Within a few months of tinkering, humanity starts to build their own gateways. And then the real fun gets to begin. And that, folks, is how I would see this scenario going down. Now, the reason that this is just a short video is because there's only two books regarding this alien species. And I loved that series, even though, like I said, it was only two books. I loved it. It was well-written, hard sci-fi. It was awesome. And I honestly had a lot of fun crafting the scenario and I wanted to do more like it. So if you can suggest short scenarios where there's not a whole lot of lore, but maybe we can come up with some numbers and punch out a scenario, by all means. So again, guys, like, share, subscribe this video out. And with that, I will see you on the next Bolo Versus.